All right, hey everybody, Potato here with Adam Agro. What's going on, everybody? And we've got a special, <laughs> a really fucking special uh, pickup video for you guys. Obtained video, as I call it. Oh yeah, obtained. And we seriously obtained a lot of shit, all from one store, which actually comes with an awesome story. So this store, here's their business card. And, Feel free to uh, pause. <clears throat> if you can't read that. Uh, maybe it'll focus. <laughs> or I can put a still screen on there of uh, this this card so that you can see it and go there because yeah. you're going to want to freaking Holy go there. shit, dude. They locked up the store for us. He, they, he did. And, and they took us into the back room. The guy that works there, did he wrote his name down, didn't he? Yeah, he wrote he wrote his name down on on one of my receipts. Uh, so if there was because if there was any trouble, so they told me I was from Florida, I can mail it up for him and and he'll return stuff. I also want to quickly add that we're going to be adding some pictures on our Facebook page, which will be linked below. And the prices you're going to see on these carts, because we're just taking them out of the bag now, are not at all what we pay for these. He gave us like mass fucking deals. All right, keep going. We, yeah, we bought a lot of stuff because he took us in the back room. Yeah. And they had just moved everything from their other store to this to their main store, and they had boxes and boxes of retro games just sitting in the back that they hadn't gone through. So we got some amazing fucking deals on stuff. Yeah, so I can't even, I don't even, I did five separate transactions myself. I don't know about Potato. But we're just gonna go uh, one by one by one. And we, there, we, so much stuff happened. We were there for over four hours. We four. literally closed them down. Uh, like he closed up early and then we left after he was closed. He was really excited to see uh, collectors and yeah. retro gamers and we talked a lot of shit. and. Uh, and he might, he's probably watching this right now because I gave him all my information. So, uh, so thank you, Game Explosion. You're awesome. Yes, it's called Game Explosion. Game Explosion. And it's actually in Aurora. Aurora, which Colorado. You can go there and go to Nicola Play. Nicola Play is fucking great. 350, play all the games you want for 350. Yeah, we got some pictures of Nicola Play going up on that Facebook as well. He did a friendship on a friendship. Ultimate, Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3. I, I had to. Did I say that right? Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3. Okay, I got I get that and Ultimate Marvel vs. Capcom mixed up now because everything's ultimate. ultimate. Yes, everything's ultimate. Alright, let's see this. I'm going to start off with the Sega Genesis games right here. This is called a Viewpoint. A lot of you people have told me to pick this up during my uh, Sluge Smup special. There it is. I have to say that. <laughs> see, like, he bought I'm pulling out the right, right, I'm going to do another one because he's like pulling out all of his like death. I'm just going through randomly. Uh, here's one called Dragon's Revenge. This is a pinball game. Uh, both of these are complete for the Sega Genesis, by the way. I'm actually, I got so much stuff that I'm going to have to mail it to myself because I can't possibly yeah. uh, do it. Okay, right. go ahead. So, here we have Spelunker, and you might think, oh, Spelunker. But dude, you know how hard it is to find a good copy of this game? Freaking hard. Freaking hard. Why don't you do two since I did them? All right. We'll catch back up. And I found, this is an amazing shape. Pinball Quest. Yes, I I have that game. That, really it is game. perfectly white. Usually they're kind of yellowed. All right, let's see what we got here. <laughs> oh, oh, well, totally rad popped out. Totally rad for the NES. Pretty excited to have that myself. Here's a big one. You don't see these many very often, especially in this nice of condition. Wild Gunman. Yeah, you remember this from Back to the Future too? <laughs> Potato uh, trying to collect all the original like black yeah, the, NES ones. The black ones, and they usually have a little thing here. Uh, they're the original. Good. Nintendo games. That doesn't count as not technically a game. The uh, Wild Gunman's really good light gun shooter. Here we have uh, Legacy of the Warrior. This comes with a official Nintendo sleeve, which I will give you because you really are looking for official Nintendo sleeve ones. Uh, because we actually got a big bag right here of like just a shit ton of Nintendo sleeves that you practically gave away. Yeah. Not most of them don't say Nintendo on them, but um, Nintendo ones are hard to find. Yeah, and there's also Game Gear cases in there, but yeah, Legacy. Of the wizard with the manual, which is great. I'm really excited about this. I see lots of people speedrunning this on uh, Twitch. I got a good condition air fortress. Also hard to find in good condition. Hal. Guys Hal. make uh, Kirby. And it's almost a shmup. Here is Image Fight. This was a shmup. This is from Iron. Or Iron. Irene. <laughs> oh boy. Good price on this. Bible Adventures. During our 20 hour live show, which was yesterday. They kept asking us if we had that, and now we do. Yeah. 
So, uh, okay, let's see here. You wouldn't believe how much I paid for that. So, so much less than I expected to. Ha <laughs> This one I paid a pretty penny for. I think this was, what, 36 Somewhere around there, yeah. Moonwalker on the Sega Genesis. When last time I was with Retro Snow, he, uh, he picked up... No, this was 30 because Retro Snow paid 36 I was like, cool, I saved... So, yeah, complete inbox. And, and, oh, there are my receipts. <laughs> you put them all in there. I put them all in Moonwalker so I can see them. It, I, I did five different transactions, so I don't know how much I spent. But Moonwalker. Yeah, because here's how this shit happened. We, we went in there. We're like, oh, my God, you have that and that. Okay, we're getting a few games. We both got a few things. Yeah. And then, like, we look around, and uh, he's like, oh, hey, you know, you guys are going to hate me for this, but... I have this a bunch of stuff. Um, I have some stuff in back that you might want to look through. Yeah. So he brings out this huge tub. Yeah. No, he br first he brings out this huge box yeah. of Sega Genesis cartridge in box games, and then he brings out another one yeah. of Sega Genesis. And he kept saying like, "You're gonna hate me. You're gonna hate me. You're gonna hate me." And four hours of this and five separate trans. trans and then he brings out a box of all Dreamcast, and yeah. then he brings out a fucking tub of NES games. A tub. And then he brings out another tub of Super Nintendo games. And then we just go in the back room. He tells us yeah. to just go in the back room and look through stuff. And then there's more boxes of stuff. We find, like, such crazy awesome stuff. And that's actually where I found Urban Champion. Yeah, sorry, Jones, that's no longer yours. Yes, Jones. <laughs> it's not yours anymore, it's mine. This is a hard-to-find game, especially in good condition. And they usually... Sell for a lot more than that. Ventures of Lolo. Being a Kirby fan and the Lolo's, or Lolo uh, showing up in Kirby, I had to get this one. Really good price on that. So it's marked at six ninety five. We paid less than what's marked for all these. So mm -hmm. culture well, brand. Kung Fu Heroes. That's one that I already have in my collection. Basically mint condition. Dude, a lot of them were nice, dude. Like he just, they yeah. must have just been in boxes. Uh, here we go. This is a good one. Uh, we got the Battle of Olympus. Oly Battle of Olympus. This looks a lot like uh, Legend of Zelda 2. A lot like it. And this was released in uh, 1985, for those of you who want to know who ripped off who. And Tetris 2 for the NAS. I recently picked yeah. that up too. So. Better than Tetris, which I don't have because I don't have Tetris 2. Barari Fighter? Barari Fighter. Barari Fighter. Thank you. That, uh, that looked like an awesome, like, I guess like a run and gun platform -er deal. Don't you have another one that's kind of like that? A like, run isn't Section Z kind of like that? Section Z is straight, like, side-scrolling shmup, but it kind of looks like the Metroid universe, and you can, like, kind of go through the map weird. I don't think it's going to be quite like that. I don't know. What the fuck is that? Find out. This. Oh. You wouldn't think so, but this is really fucking hard to find. There are two ROMs of this, if you don't know. Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom. Original Not the release. Tangen version. This is an official Nintendo cartridge version. There are two ROMs of this. I don't remember offhand which one is the better one, but I swear it was the Nintendo licensed copy that was actually fully working, because I think the Tangen version has some glitches and problems. Uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Not the arcade game. This is the uh, overhead, weird, why can't turtles swim version thingy. <laughs> I gotta open this up because I might get in my guides first. Go ahead. And this one's in pretty good condition. It has a little cleaning necessary, but volleyball for the NES. You don't see that one too often either. Black label games. I've got I have quite I a few of them. I helped him find a lot of games. He didn't help me find shit. He was all about himself. It's because you were digging through everything like crazy. Well, I had... You were like, what are you looking for? Because I'm not looking through this again. Dude, did you see the size of that bin? I looked I put, through them all twice. I put everything back, like, facing one nice direction, and I grouped all the games together. <laughs> like, I was like, dude, do not mess this up. And I was just asking, so... Okay, let's see what... Uh, man, I got a lot of NES games. Dr. Chaos. What was this one like? Um, 
I'm pretty sure it works kind of like, if you remember the Goonies game. Goonies 2. How it had like the uh, weird adventure thing, but then it also had the sky t- side-scrolling thing. Yeah. So it had the 3D and the side Did you have to look for like annoying like items that. to advance the storyline though? Because that'd be totally... I don't awesome. remember, but I do remember it getting decent ratings. Oh, okay. it looks great, and I do like uh, FCI, so... This one oh, is yes. a good find. Rolling Thunder 2. He actually switched the case out for us, too. With the instructions. And yeah, he was nice enough to switch the case to a nicer case. Because it was in like a rental case at first. Dude, it's two players. I didn't even notice. Oh my god. Dude. (laughs) We've got to play this. Uh, Wow. I didn't get that much. We didn't pay attention to a lot of this crap because we were so fucking excited. We found a lot of really awesome <laughs> games. Rare <laughs> Dreamcast web browser, not free. yeah. He gave it. He gave us that three because free because they had four copies of it. Sonic Adventure Two Trial. Not one. That was free too. Uh, wow, really? These are all the games. Marvel Superheroes versus Street Fighter. He only wanted twenty bucks for this. I have no fucking idea why, but I said must. have. Is that really all the games I bought? Is it? That one? Oh. And uh, here is the Lucky Dime Caper Donald Duck on the Game Gear. I think I think that might have been. It just You might have been thrown off because I had like such a huge pile. Yeah, it took so long. Yeah, and, it and we take- looked at so much and I said, you know, no, no. We probably looked through like five hundred games. Oh dude, easily. Alright, so I got nothing but like. I swag. have pictures, which I'll I'll put up. Uh the pictures so you can see them. Like, there's so much stuff in boxes and boxes and boxes. And the back room was insane, which I also have a picture of. Yeah, here's a picture of us, like, rooting through the back this, room. This, oh, I was blown away by this. I didn't even know this was on the Sega Genesis, let alone ever find it. Rampage, the Sega Genesis version. And it's got a really cool cover on it. Completely awesome. It's, it's got to have, like, better graphics and stuff than the NES version. So hopefully that's better. So you want me to go through the rest of my games? Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> okay, this one. This is, is good. fucking amazing. Yeah. Like, I saw this. Like, when he brought out the box, my eyes immediately went to this. I was like, mine! He called it. Oh, man. I let him have it. Marble Madness. The Sega Genesis version. Seal. 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 It has a seal on it. Is the tab it's, under there? It's completely sealed. Or does it not have a tab like a normal Genesis tab? No, it's there. It's just sealed down, right? No. No, there's no tab. Well, that's weird. I've never seen a box with no tab. It is a box with no tab. See, this So this a... isn't even resealed. This is actually originally sealed. No tab. Not even the remnants of a cutoff tab. That's, that's weird. I'm going to have to look through my Genesis games now. Yeah, these all have the seals ripped off. And so do mine, I believe. Yeah, you can tell the difference. Yeah. This has the seal ripped off, and these two still have seals. That's weird. What, what's going to happen? He's, I'm unsealing it on camera. You guys can watch this. A sealed version of Marble Madness has now been unsealed. Because this game is actually rare to find. Open it up. I want to smell it. <gasps> it's new. Oh my oh god! Oh my god! I haven't smelled that in years. <laughs> oh shit! Oh, look at this! Oh, it's cr- oh, oh my, my god. god! Listen to it! <laughs> oh man! Holy shit! That smell, like, you have no idea what it's like. Like, oh my god! Look at the chips! Look at the chips! It's pristine. Look at that! That's what it looks like as a virgin. <laughs> Dude, like if pervert. you find a sealed game, just fucking buy it. Doesn't matter what it is. If it's cheap enough. It is worth the nostalgia. That brings back so many memories. That is awesome. Does this have co-op? This is where two Fucking players. Seal. Yeah, they all had two players. I think they were trade-off. Yeah. Okay. All right, keep going. Oh my god. I- I'm gonna marvel at that too much. I need to keep going. Uh, marvel superheroes versus Street Fighter. Yeah. <laughs> Shit. Oh. Well, I just did this one, so I might as well go to the next one. Rolling Thunder. Three. They had two and three. And he already has the first one. No instructions. But still. still. No, that was the one they switched the box out for. They, it, yeah. Yeah, it was this one. Yeah. Yeah, because this one didn't have a case, 
But the insert was in like some um, like rental box, like rental box case. But weird thing, two player, one player. Why? Maybe maybe his partner dies in that game. No, but in this one you can pick your weapons. That's pretty cool. That's dope as fuck. This is that your I last was, game? I I think it's my last game. Yes. No, it can't be because I had some Dreamcast games. But you're right here. Yes. I'll do that one last. Okay, here I have a uh, Snowcross Championship, which uh, if you don't remember, this was in the arcade, but it was called something else. I think it was Arctic Extreme. I don't know. It either. was like Hydro Thunder, but on jet or on uh, what are those called? Snowmobiles. On nice. Snowmobiles. It's basically the same game. Is this? Yeah, it's made by Crave. Good stuff. And uh, this one, Mag Force Racing, also made by Crave. Yes. And this is actually taken from an arcade game that was, uh, I think it was called Slift Speed. And uh, this is pretty much like that, but way, way cooler. And uh, that, is that all my games? That might, that might be all my games. You need to give back my manuals. Well, do you want to show up peripherals or manuals next? Probably for it feels. Okay. I think I'm, sh should I do this now or should I should I do it? Do it now. Do it yeah. now because we're ending games. Okay. I wasn't gonna buy this because it wasn't in the greatest shape. But Final Fantasy three in box. You know you know what else helped? It was it was originally marked with the instructions a little beat up. But the game has pretty much everything intact. It's yeah. just a little bit dusty. The game looks in good condition. But it's in box, and it has the instructions, it even does. though they're a little beat up. Yeah. They're a little worse for wear. But... He cut the price in half. He cut the price in half. In half. Because I, I, I was like, dude, if, if that wasn't so banged up, I might think about it, because I can get... I can get it complete online for, you know, eighty to hundred dollars. There aren't many auctions, but you know, uh, I might think about it. And he was like, well, if you want it, I'll give it to you for half price. And I was like, I just put my cash on the counter. Yeah, he just like, <laughs> literally, just, just I just took out my cash, put it on the counter, and then I didn't even say anything. Shut up and take my money. That's <laughs> what I said to him like three times, because I'm wearing a Futurama shirt. <laughs> so, okay, before we get into the previews, you know, we got this big bag, basically for free. Uh, we got NES sleeves, we got uh, Game Gear cases, we also got a couple of uh, Game Boy cases as well. You can show that. That has a slight, slight smell still to it. Very slight. So this they had complete. Box and instructions. Mint. Mint condition. For the box and instructions. The game was The game was shit. <laughs> It was coming apart. It had cigarette stains on it. Yeah, it, it was, was bad. so bad. But he agreed to let us just buy the box of instructions, which was amazing. Yeah, of I just bought the box of instructions, which still has the the little styrofoam thing in it, and it's it's in pristine condition. And Super Mario Three was like my biggest game ever when I was a kid. So this is pure nostalgia right here, and it looks so nice. Look at that. It Put does. it up on the wall. He's like, it's like he's flying. I'm gonna bang through these real quick. Okay. Uh, here we got the uh, PlayStation version strategy guide for the X Files. You guys know I'm a big X Files fan. I have this game a bunch. Uh, I really like this. Um, I got Mortal Kombat 4. Uh, the combat codes are not in here, but he gave me a good deal on it, nevertheless. Here's Echo the Dolphin for the Dreamcast, and this actually includes a very nice Echo the Dolphin poster. Uh, oh shit, it's a lot fucking bigger than I thought. As you can see right... Fuck, it's not even gonna get all on screen. Uh, so that was cool. Dude, this is like smelling 1991. <laughs> I'm smelling 1991. <laughs> uh, and uh, the last... Oh wait, no, I got two more. Uh, Tony Hawk Pro Skater 2, um, which doesn't have a poster in it, sadly. And Forsaken 64, one of my favorite games. And it's funny because they have Forsaken on the PlayStation, and it's apparently not good for both. So that's cool. And it's not officially called Forsaken. Well, 
It doesn't say Forsaken 64 on the cover, but it says it in the game, which is weird, not Forsaken 64. It's weird. So, yes. So there are some manuals. What else you got? Goddamn. Okay, accessories. <laughs> Matt, if you need a pair of these, they have three more. They have fucking three more. And, and they, they had they had just one of them sitting out there, and it was supposed to go with the game. And I was like, I just need the bongos. And he was like, mm, ten bucks. I was like, okay. Oh. I need a second pair. I want to play my Japanese import versions of Donkey Kong because the American version was awful. Japanese ones, fucking amazing. It's worth buying a GameCube and an importer for. Okay, you guys may not recognize this because this is only used for one game, but I bought it basically for this part right here. And this is the uh, the microphone adapter and microphone for Hey You Pikachu. And I have this with an unofficial mic hooked up to it. But I basically just wanted this because it says Nintendo on the end and has a 64 logo. So now I got two of these for <laughs> the one game that came out. He had a lot of those for there only being one game yeah. that uses this. But yeah, so that's what the official one looks I've never seen an official one. I remember looking on uh, the internet and I couldn't find it. But yeah, that, that's what it looks like. And it has the Nintendo 64 3D logo right there. And uh, he cut the price in half a little bit for me on that. Not, he cut it in half a little bit. He cut down a good bit. Oh, boy. This, I, I didn't get this, okay? They had two of these. One was in a display case out front, and it had stickers all over yeah, it. Yeah, it was bad. It, it looked bad. This probably came from the other store, I'm guessing, is why they didn't have it out there. I've never seen one in person, never knew anyone that had one. The Advantage Stick for the Super Nintendo. The I have the NES advantage. one. This is the Super Nintendo version. Look at this. This is so awesome. It has, it it has switches. fighting layout for the, the buttons. And uh, the buttons actually react really well because the other ones were kind of bad. And it has a slow mode. And I think this is how slow. And then it has uh, each of these buttons have a switch for auto, turbo, and off. Auto and turbo for each button. That's awesome. And this... I, I don't know, is that slow for each button? I don't, I have no idea, like, dude. This thing is crazy. And then it looks like a Super Nintendo. It's designed to look like a Super, which is pretty awesome. And the joystick is nice. This one was obviously not used. This one, yeah, it looks nice. Yeah, you, none of the screws are fucked with on the bottom. The, the, I mean, look at the wire. It's, it's just, yeah. no one used this. Yeah, it's pretty much like my NES Advantage. Like, when I got that, that looked like in mint condition. And uh, they gave me a good deal on that. All right, I'm just going to bang out some inserts right now. Here's the back for uh, Marvel vs. Capcom, the original, which I have. Here's a, a voucher for a free Donkey Kong Country 2 player's guide. Uh, just some inserts. Here's a manual for Sonic 2 on the Game Gear. Here's a man manual for Tetris 2 on the Game Boy. Here's a manual for Batman Returns. Here's a manual for... The Great Circus Mystery, here's a manual for Indiana Jones and the Empire's Tomb, which I believe is the one on the 64. No, it's called the Eternal Machine on the 64. I don't know what fucking system this is for them. Because they made it look like a passport. Is it for, like, it might be for Xbox? Fuck it, I don't fucking know. Uh, Demon's Crest, which I don't have. I guess I did buy Millipede, but I got the, uh... Millipede Instructions, uh, Dark Water, Excite Bike, Wave Race 64, Mystic Quest, Zelda and the Four Swords, Super Mario Brothers, uh, Deep Duck Trouble, uh, Super Mario World. This is the second. Did you get the original Super Mario World? Yeah. I'm going to hold that out then. Uh, here's a box copy with everything in it, including the little plastic bag for uh, Pinball of the Dead, which I do have, so now I have that complete. And, uh, yeah, I think the other ones are in the next one your pile. What the fuck is that? Yeah, okay. If anybody's seen this before, please fucking tell me. Because I was completely without words for this thing. This is a gun, right? It's, it's a light gun with a fucking Sega plug. It's a Sega light gun. What is this? Because they're, like, the guy gave me it. For two bucks, because he was like, no one's ever going to buy that. Yeah, there's no name on it. There's no name. There's no writing whatsoever. It clicks really yeah. well. It doesn't even say made in Japan. I searched all over the internet, couldn't find this thing anywhere. I even photo searched it and couldn't find a, a like photo. It's, it's insane. I don't know 
what this is for, is it for Master System? Is it for the Genesis? What is it for? I don't know. I'm hoping it'll work for the Sega Genesis, but like, Jeez. shit, I couldn't, I couldn't find a single thing about it. It doesn't even say Sega on the plug. Yeah, it kind of looks a little small for a Sega plug, but I'll have to compare it. You know, maybe, you know what it is, maybe? It's not for Atari, I don't know. Maybe it's for one of those, like, plug-and-play games. And maybe. But still, I mean, for what you've got for it, it's fun just to fucking kick around. It's funny looking. Yeah. Um, I don't have anything to show off, because it's worth you, a try. I think you took some of the manuals. Yeah. Do you know what, oh, okay, that soup one was mine. So is there anything above that that was mine? Uh, 007 was yours, and the NBA yeah. Gen Term Edition was yours, so this is all in my No, because you got the poster. Okay. Or wait, did you not get the poster? Did you you got this. Did you get that? You got that. Okay. Uh, wait, you got this one because I don't have Contra. Okay, fuck it. We'll just show them and then... Because you got the... <laughs> Are you having fun? Okay, uh, I got these awesome ones. These... Hungry, get Nintendo power. Uh, one has Zelda and one has Mario on it. They're just pretty cool little inserts. Here is a uh, power power up and get free stuff thing. It has like a Majora's Mask, Banjo Kazooie, Meow, and Wario's on it, which is nice, getting represented. Um, oh, there's another Hungry one. I guess you can have that. Uh, Battle Tanks for the 64, Gek 64 for the 64, Tony Hawk Pro Skater for the 64, Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time, a book called How to Win at Super Mario Brothers. It has like all the well, fucking maps. Some of them are not in there. But it's it's awesome. There's like all the maps and shit in there. I don't know who fucking made this, but he like gives to us for free, which is weird because it says $25 on it. <laughs> Thanks, Game Explosion. <laughs> Let me see if I can get this off. This was for you. I think I claimed that. Did you claim this? Yeah. Okay, you can have it. Because you, you claim this. The Ocarina of Time. Fuck. <laughs> I got gypped. Well, you know what? I'm going to read this one here, if you're still sleeping. So that one's yours. Yeah, this is pretty awesome. This one I got for you, the Don't Be Caught, because the bug one. I have that on my wall. This is a, a Super Power Club registered thing with these <laughs> awesome 80s ads. <laughs> Did you see that picture? I'll put it up. This picture of Howard Phillips. Alright, let's see what, what you got. Howard Wait a minute, I'm missing my Banjo Kazooie. It should be in there. I didn't say Banjo I saw it. Banjo Kazooie, if I didn't say it. I know I didn't say Banjo Kazooie. I didn't say Rush 2, uh, San Francisco Rush 2, Lego Racers, Super Mario World, Super Mario World, which is Super Mario Advance 2, and Kirby's Nightmare Dreamland. Yes, that's all of them. Alright. So this is a, uh, you can't see it, it's a poster of Jurassic Park. I won't take it apart right now. But it's, it's really what's on the back that has, you know, it's like all the... Yeah, it has all the games. games and stuff like that. It's one of those posters. Uh, Sonic Mega Collection Plus. And uh, Adam just kind of threw that at me and said, that's yours. Well, you need to get that game. Okay, it's a reminder it. for me to get that game if I don't have it already, which I don't think I do. I swear I had it, though. And uh, How to Play Contra. That's Which the is actually the instruction manual, and it's like the yeah. shittiest instruction manual I've ever seen. It's so bad. Some of these said how to play, too, but... Like, I'm going to put these instructions, like, these little graphics on screen for you. Because uh, they're really, really bad, but they actually tell you some nice information. Yeah. About like, the eight like, lines of defense. Yeah. Uh, NBA Jam Tournament Edition. This is actually the SNES version, but uh, I, I think I have it on the Sega Genesis. But if I don't have the manual for the Sega Genesis, I can replace it with that one. It's good enough. And uh, we have Star Fox for the Super. Was that one you claimed or was that one I claimed? I don't know. Do you have Star Fox for the Super? Yeah. Fuck. You can have it. I don't remember. You want it? Yes and no. I don't really give a fuck about take Super, it. but... You can take it because I took the uh, How to Win at Super Mario Brothers. You did. And uh, GoldenEye 007. I don't have a manual for that. Super Mario Land. That's good. That's a pretty cool instruction manual. A slight color. And uh, a Game Boy Color instruction manual. Yeah, you <laughs> need to know how to use it. I just thought that was fun. This is cool. Super Star Wars. That's a really cool manual. Super Nintendo. Yeah. yeah, and it has the cover on it, which is really nice. And uh, 
It has some cool pictures. It's in color, which is nice. And, and it shows sprites. you the animation for yeah. the sprites. The yeah. animation. The animation for the sprites is pretty sweet. And uh, I got <laughs> the Robocop 3. Hell yeah. At some point I'll get that game whenever I find it. Animaniacs. For the Super Nintendo, which is the one he has. Uh, I'll do these first. Oh, okay. Um, Mario Paint, the instruction manual. They had a few of those. Yeah. Echo the Dolphin, which I don't think I have the instruction manual for this, but I do have it in case. And Super Mario All-Stars. Now this one was interesting. Uh, we, they had four instruction manuals for this. Super Mario World. Can you, you spot the difference? Can you see it? Can you spot it? Uh, the blues are slightly different. That's right. And the layout of the title is different. Yes. So uh, what's, what's the real difference between them? One of these things is not like the other. You already said the layouts of the letters are different. Yeah. But what's actually different is uh, if you look on the back page, in this corner, that one has a revision. This one doesn't. Rev slash D. So this is for the, the one that was the player's choice. And on the front, the model number is different. Yes. So this was actually the original manual for the original yeah, Super Mario. But the Mario biggest World. one is it says Super and then Mario World, not just a Super Mario World straight across. Yeah. That's the original right there when it says it across, which I knew. So give me some credit for that. Okay. Because I knew that. I'm not a big Super person, but I knew that. Now, I'm wondering if they actually changed any of the guts of the manual. Yeah, we'll have to take a look and see. I very much doubt it. Although, doubt if, it. it's, if it's revived. But the cool thing is, it has this. If it's revived. That's pretty cool. Yeah, the last page was where it was at with the Koopa Kids, definitely. Yeah. And just, I, I miss instructions altogether, but I definitely miss instructions. And it had some of the other characters on it, too, yeah. that you had in the game. Which, you know, they didn't do on every version of Mario Brothers. Oh, look at that. They have, like, cool little icons there. with their names on the bottom. Yeah. You can see that right there. That's pretty yeah. cool. And they have a thing with all the blocks did. Like, I don't remember. Like, it's like we're... Completely dead to instructions now. And these, Dude, look at that. These fucking, manuals are so cool. That map looks so beastly. I mean, th this is so awesome. But it's like, you don't see this shit anymore, and that sucks. Yeah, that map is really cool. Look at that. It's like a, a Mario power up guide. It's like, look. And dude, look at this. It even has Star Road on it. That's awesome. Anyways, um, yeah, my last thing. And he gave this to me for like 99 cents for whatever fucking reason. I don't even know if I ended up paying for it. And that is an official Sega Game Gear carrying case. It's got a pocket right in the front, right here, which has nothing in it. The big case right here, your system goes here, your games go here, your uh, power adapter goes there if you have it. I guess you More games. can put games in there. <laughs> oh my god. Um, and there's a zipper pocket on the back as well, which there's nothing in. So that's cool, because you know how I like my Game Gear, and I got all those new Game Gear cases, so I can put my Game Gear cases all fucking, yeah! Yeah, so we got quite a haul. Yes, is that everything? So, uh, there's that. Oh, yeah, they gave us both free shirts, because we spent so much money there. And it says that I came from Balls, has a Pokeball in it, and then on the back it says that Game Explosion, which was the store yet again. Oh yeah, this was my big purchase. I thought we struck out, so I'm like, ah, oh, whatever, you know what, I'm just, yeah. gonna, I'm just gonna get this and we're gonna call it a day. We went to one store, their prices were insane. They were pretty bad. I, I won't mention their name, but their, their prices were really high. And uh, then we go to this store and we're like, ah, oh, well, we didn't find much, so uh, we have one other store to go to after this, and, you know, there are a few other stores around, but, like, these were the biggest stores, so if yeah. we struck out at these, then, eh. So I bought this basically because I struck out. And uh, that is a Smoke Nintendo 64 complete in box. It has a controller and everything in it. It does say $69.99 right there, but I got it for 40 40 something. 40 in tax. But yeah, it is complete, nice shape. This is my first complete in box 64, and obviously my first gray one. And it has a jumper pack, doesn't it? Um, no, it doesn't have the expansion pack. It has the original expansion pack, but not, uh -huh. the, not the one that you need for Perfect Dark and shit. But, so, I mean, it was good, and, uh, let me see if I'll take it out a little bit for you here. Uh, just a little bit, if I can, maybe. Just so you guys can see, it's got the controller. It's in great, it looks like it was never fucking played. Yeah, I mean, it really does. 
Everything's in nice condition in here. It's, it's weird. So I, I had to get that. I know it's... And obviously, I, I'm not going to be able to put this on my carry-on, so we got to ship it back home, but... Only thing I can assume is, like, people live here, and then they move away, and then all this shit's in, like, their parents' basement, and they just sell it off, because you're never going to come back for your stuff. And then it ends up at a game store, and we find it. And, uh, yeah, I haven't shown that off. That is actually a pickup. Uh, this is my... Uh, part of my mother collection, Mother 2 Earthbound, this is Mr. Saturn in PVC. And you actually have to put his whiskers in. And this is Mr. Saturn in a trash can. Mr. Saturn in a trash can. He even comes with a lid. And uh, it's, it's actually a plush Mr. Saturn. And you can shove him down in there. Yeah. And then you can put the lid on. And then when you go to search for it, hoping there's a cookie in there, he'll pop out and be like, yo, what the fuck? All right, we gotta go. Yeah. This is a long video. Yeah, so uh, I had to get these off of eBay because I couldn't find them. There's no chance in hell I would find these in Japan. These things were wanted like crazy. Yeah. Like, they stopped putting these in UFO catchers just because people wanted them so bad they would like swamp the UFO catchers. So I had to get it off eBay. I actually got a deal for those. I, I haggled the deal. Really? Yeah. Why? And they gave me free shipping. Oh, nice. That's great. All right. Well, I have a feeling this was long enough. Yeah. And, uh, I think that's, it says, says everything. It says five hours. No, that's the battery life. It says 38 minutes. 38 minutes. Dude, uh, as bad as I thought it would be. If you guys actually sat through all of this, thank you very much. And uh, yeah. we, we might be making an announcement very soon. Uh, being, We just came off the heels of a of a 20-hour live show that was supposed to be 24 because we got exhausted and Twitch started fucking up. But we might be making another announcement for another stream because now we have a Nintendo 64 here obviously I'm not too afraid to bust that out and, and a bunch of new stuff and a bunch of stuff including some stuff that was requested heavily last night so if we do one it's going to be on Thursday so keep following us on Twitter and we will make a video right here on YouTube so check out the Twitter information the Facebook yep. information will be down there below so thank yep. you and if you uh, come to Denver go to Game Explosion I'll put the address on the description um, I'll put their information, I'll put keywords in there. Uh, I will advertise the shit out of this place because these are nice. These are really awesome people. Uh, they're really great to us. So um, if you go there, uh, let me know and maybe I'll give you some sort of thing to tell them that they would, I don't know, the guy that's working might. Man, I wish I could find that fucking receipt that yeah. I was I would love to thank him by fucking name. Yeah, I know. Right, those are mine. I don't know where my other ones ended up. I don't know. But if I go there again, maybe I'll like... I'll, ma I'll make him an advertisement video and put it on both of our YouTube channels. Yeah, absolutely. Because that guy, if he sees this, thank you so much. You were really awesome. There's going to be like people are going to be commenting their names like, Yeah, it was me, dude. Yeah. I'll be like, no, it wasn't. Don't be a dick. Oh, you know what? Where's a pin pinball thing? It might be the one that's in here. Fuck! No, how many fucking receipts do I have? Oh well, well if, if we figure it out, we'll let you know. And, uh, yeah. So, thanks to, thanks to Game Explosion. Yeah, dude, thank awesome. you. Thank you so, so much. So, if you come to Denver, us. there's tons of arcades, there's tons of really good stuff. Um, you know, support this, this place if you're looking for retro games. Because I know that some of you live within driving distance. Game Explosion. Thank you so much, guys. Really thank appreciate you. it. And I know that he's going to subscribe to the channel, so thank you so much, dude. Definitely. Yep, so, from freaking Denver, <laughs> Adam Hagger on Potato.